How's it going, guys? Ah, fuck. Uh, well, we gotta change something real quick. Um, Shadow Sneak is not compatible um, with something. Um, as you see, I am using a physical um, Curlia. Let's go with Zen, but all right. So uh, it's not too much of a problem. I, I don't understand why some moves are banned, um, but it's fine. We're in OU because fucking Bisharp. This is an Alice in Wonderland theme suggested by Jay. Um, I'm gonna start off with um, my Persian, and uh, th this person says the scene looks fun. Just going to say it's an Alice in Wonderland theme team for YouTube. I'm going to let them know. Um, but yeah, so we have Curlia representing Alice, the Persian representing Cheshire, um, Gothitelli representing the Queen of Hearts, Lepony, March Hare, Ludicolo the Mad Hatter, and finally Bisharp as in Knave or Knave or Kanave. Um... Yeah, so <laughs> Jay selected these Pokemon. He was torn up between whether I should go with Laponi or Diggersby. I went with Laponi because um, personally, Diggersby reminds me more of a masculine Pokemon, and March Hare reminds me of more of a fem feminine creature. So I went with Laponi. Um, and then he also was torn between Persian and Lifeheart for Cheshire, but I love using Persian, so I. Uh, um, I, I went with Persian. Um, this is a special set on Persian. Um, I actually, um, it's funny how I said uh, March Hare reminds me of a feminine creature, and I forgot to make sure that uh, Laponi was gender locked for female and actually came up male. Um, Just to let them know. Uh, I'm going to start off with the fake out. Um, kind of give the illusion that I am the typical Persian set. Um, I'm not. Obviously, it's a hyper voice Thunderbolt nasty plot set. Um, um, finally, we meet somebody nice on YouTube. I've been getting, I mean, uh, Pokemon Showdown. I've been getting nothing but the saltiest motherfuckers. Um, to uh, battle me. Uh, the kid with the Blissey, which is now up, I don't know, had to waste 30 minutes in Pokemon. Um, <laughs> also, um, the, a lost video I had, someone really uh, was very salty. Um, he was victim of power hacks with my Galvantula in um, Animals of Upstate New York. I might have that video still, I, I, but I believe it's gone. I lost a lot of footage, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's gone. But uh, don't mind me, I'm just going to take a sip of some lemonade real quick. Which, um, this lemonade is, uh, really sour. And probably not the best thing to drink while I'm recording. Because it does all sorts of awful things to my voice. I knew the Flare Blitz was coming, but I'm Sash, so that's okay. Um, I'm going to go with the Stab Hyper Voice here at Nasty Plot. Um, that's, that's trouble. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so th this Charizard is probably just going to get wrecked if it decides to stay in it. It, does it. it switches into Ferrothorn, and the Hyper, Ve Hyper Voice does pretty much nothing. Um, Ferrothorn's really fucking bulky, so that's fine. Now I have the option of getting out of here and saving the Fake Out again for later. Um, but I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt here, just for a 10% chance of Paralysis. Um, actually, it's going to be double resisted. Um, let's see, what do we have here in options for... Uh, this thing. One fire attack will be fine, and of course I have no fire attacks. I'm just going to go with the Hyper Voice here. Um, it'll probably give him a chance to set up. We do get a crit. Um, Thunder Wave is going to para uh, paralyze me. I was almost tempted to go with Limber, um, because Persian really lacks any special attacks um, that are qualifiable for Technician. I almost ran Hidden Power Normal, um, but it was just weird. I Hidden Power Normal kind of seems like a waste, right? Um, and Hyper Voice is there to break, like, subs. And I'm still faster than Ferrothorn, even uh, despite the paralysis. So that's pretty cool. Um, and finally, I get fucking Power Hacks, and Leech Seed's gonna come out and kill me. So, uh, 
Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Losing Persian kind of sucks as well, but it, it is what it is. Um, so now I need something to kill this thing, and unfortunately I really don't have much. I'm not sure if this is like a defensive one or especially a defensive one, um, but I know it has iron barbs. Um, obviously it has leftover. Uh, I, got, I got to take a chance to go with the fake out here and just... See, um, it doesn't have like the greatest special defense in the world, just because um, the hyper voice was doing twenty one, but that is a stab hyper voice, so um, it doesn't really say a lot. But yeah, I was almost tempted to go with Limber, which would have been funny because um, Limber is one of those abilities that like um, you really never see, and it, it would have been cool to have Limber come out and then um, God, it, it fucking doing nothing to this fucking Ferrothorn. Um, so the Mad Hatter's gonna get paralyzed here, so he's not dancing so much anymore. Um, I I'm gonna go for, uh, the Hydro Pump here. Just cause I need something. Power Whip's gonna miss, so that's good. Um, yeah. I, I went with, uh, Ludicolo here because, um, I can't be Leech Seeded, which is always nice. And I, I don't think that Power Whip will really take, really take me out, but, um, it it's possible. Um, and it hits, and it, it does, so, um... I, I knew I was going to be probably on the fringes there. I, I really have no answer to this fucking, um, Ferrothorn. <clears throat> like, uh, th this is the toughest obstacle right now. Every everything else I see, I could be fine with. Um... Yeah, I, I, it, it's not Megalopony. I, I don't really like using Megas, to be honest. Um, the only reason I'm in OU is because of Bisharp. I, I tried to avoid it. I was going to use Ponyard, but I said, fuck it, I'm just going to go with it. Um, so here's the plan. I'm going to switch a Roo here. Um, I have Klutz, which is another one of those unseen abilities he switches out, and I get switch Roo on Gengar, which is pretty funny because I gain a Life Orb, and he gets um, Choice Span, <laughs> which kind of... D destroys Gengar unless it's a physical set, which is really fucking rare. Um, so Ferrothorn comes back out. I switched into Bisharp. I should be able to get a free Swords Dance here. And uh, so Swords Dance, Knock Off, should be able to finish off this Ferrothorn. Um, it's really unfortunate that I have no fire moves. Um, this team just really didn't allow for it. Um, so fi finally we're going to take out this Ferrothorn. Gengar is pretty much... A non-issue now. Um, I, I was able to use the switcheroo there, because knowing that even if he did switch into something, and the only thing I couldn't switch with was uh, Charizard. Um, but Mega Charizard's probably going to be the only thing that I have an issue with from here on out. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Because, you know, it's just for thinking uh, um, it may, it may have something up their sleeve. Who knows? Um, yeah, so, as, as always, if you guys want to suggest a theme team, you can do so down below. Um, so Zapdos comes in, uh, Zapdos is going to be faster than me, I could go for the Sucker Punch, knowing that he has, like, Heat Wave or something, um, which is what we're going to do, we're going to go for the Sucker Punch, and it does a ton of damage, and the Heat Wave comes, and of course takes me out, that's a fucking crit, but that crit doesn't really matter at all, um, so now we have some options here, we can go back into the little pony and go with the Fake Out, um, go with Covet, um, unfortunately I did get a Life Orb, um, so I can't even steal its item, but we can go Fake Out Drain Punch, Fake Out Covet, um, yeah, F Fake Out's one of my favorite moves to use, even though I feel it's kind of, like, cheaty, um, yeah, I, it's kind of, like, guaranteed damage, and we're gonna go for the Covet here, um, just cause it does damage, it's a stab move as well, I, I can't take the item because I have the Life Orb from Gengar, but uh, at least I got a life orb off Gengar. Um, that that uh, 1.3 percent, I mean 1.3 times boost, getting it off was a uh, really really nice. Um, we might see a switch back into Gengar here, which kind of suck. Um, but but let's see. And no, and Covet doesn't fucking kill it. <laughs> so that that's really unfortunate. Um, I'm not too sure what item this uh, Zapdos has, but I don't want, I don't want to give it uh, leftovers, I mean, a life orb, um, 
a drain punch does fucking nothing. Um, well, I was expecting a little bit more, and I got critted there. Um, so that sucks. Um, probably would have did around 35 to 40% damage rather than 64 um, if it wasn't a crit. But yeah, so Gengar comes back out here. Uh, I was really close to running fucking Diggersby, and Gengar wouldn't have been a problem then, but I, I really like this set. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to um, switch into Gothitelli here. I wish Gothitelli had Magic Guard. That, that would make it a lot more useful. Remember when only Gothitelli was in a... Or Gothitelle, whatever we want to fucking call it, was in um, OEU for that short time? Yeah, I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Um, so Zapdos is going to come back out here. I'm going I'm to switch, which kind of sucks because I'm going to lose my Lapony there because it's Stealth Rocks. Um... But yeah, this is a Patea Berry, Competitive, Charge Beam, Tickle, Rest, Psy Shock set. Um, the plan is you, you weaken your opponent coming in, and then you get your boost, and you rest up, and yeah. Um, was almost tempted to run something like a Lumberry or um, Sleep Talk, but uh, not, not so fond of it on this set. But we do get a tickle off against uh, Charizard, so imagine this little thing just walking up and uh, Queen of Hearts tickling a giant dragon. Um, and that tickle does fucking matter because I survived the Flare Blitz, I get my Potato Boost on it, it's going to be a kill for kill here. Unfortunately I got burned, so that really sucks. Um, so essentially all we have now left is um, Alice or Curlia. Um, this is a really bulky Curlia set. Um, I do trace huge power here, and it's nice because I am running a fucking physical set. So, that is really fucking nice. Um, <laughs> as they say, please be physical, that'd be so cool. And I am physical, so <laughs> unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do anything, but I get the Paralysis. Oh, so I'm, I'm just going to go with the Zen but here. Aqua Jet's going to come out, obviously, um, and kill me. So I'm going to lose this battle, but it was a really fun battle. Um, getting the fucking huge power on Curlia was really cool. Um, so shoutouts to uh, um, Skidjifinging uh, Kafingadigus. Um, yeah, that was a really fun battle. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, leave your theme teams down in the comment section down below and uh, stay sharky my friends. See you guys next time.